Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what up? My name is Melissa and we talk about all things plants. Today we are, I was tagged in this video. Sometimes every year there is a video called a plant tag, which people usually make at the beginning of a new year or at the end of an old year. <laughs> <laughs> and they kind of talk about their favorite plant of the year, um, their worst plant, their best deal, etc. Stuff like this. But there was a creator here on YouTube and Instagram, I'll try to find her and link her and give her credit, who made a very different and unique and fun kind of plant tag. Three of my other friends have done this and uh, two of them have tagged me. Thank you, Lou's Little Zoo um, or Life with Blue and Emma's Plants who tagged me in this. So now I am going to do it. I'm going to answer five unique, fun, planty questions about my plants, show you them, talk about them, and then that's basically it. I don't really have anyone to tag or to get to make this video so I am gonna say my one friend Amanda at Bees at Bubbles and Botany. Maybe she can jump on on this train of the plant tag. She hasn't made a video in a while so maybe it'll give her some encouragement. All right so the first question is what plant do you have own and love that you would normally not really go for or buy in the stores? So that plant for me is my Monstera Peru. Um, I absolutely love this plant. Um, I think it is very unique. The structure, and that looks like thrip damage, possibly. Don't you love when you film a video and you find pests? I know I'm not alone, um, but I don't think it is. I think it's sunburn, but anyways. That is a Monstera Peru. Honestly, it is a boring kind of looking plant. As you can see, it kind of has like thick waxy leaves and kind of looks like a crocodile. But to me, it's done really not much for me and I wouldn't pay the price for it either. So question number two is, what plant is on the brink of death but like never seems to die? Um, I have two plants for this. So first one, uh, okay, these plants look very sad. So does this moss pole. I don't know why it's so moldy, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna throw in the garbage. So this is my Swiss cheese uh, Monstera Avanzanii. Honestly, it looks like such garbage and I've had it for like two years. I've tried so many different things with it and I don't know, it freaking hates me, and I think I'm just gonna, I don't know. Anyways, this is my uh, uh, Monstera Anansania. It looks like crap. I don't know, I, I don't know. I've done everything. Do you want it? <laughs> but it will never die! <laughs> and the next one I have is this Lemon Lime Philodendron Cornetum, whatever you wanna call it. Gorgeous plant. It looks pretty healthy. That doesn't look too healthy, but um, it's pretty much stayed this forever. It always has a few good leaves, some nice new growth. There's actually a nice new growth growing here. But like, look at the, look at that. There's no leaves. It hates me, but it will not die. <laughs> One of those plants that just will not die, and that is okay. <laughs> it's fine. I love it, and I'll never get rid of it. Question number three is, what is a plant that someone gave you that um, they gave you to rehab and it just never left your house. So for me, um, it was hard to pick, but I did have one. This is actually a mixture of just Marble Queen and Golden Pothos. Basically, I had a friend who had two huge plants of these and they were covered in mealybugs. I went over to her house multiple weekends hours of time to change soil, clean the mealybugs and nothing happened and we cut it all up even and she just wanted to throw them in the garbage and I'm like no 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 no. <laughs> um, so I cleaned them off extremely well, quarantined them, cleaned, quarantine spray, etc. for weeks and then I just, they grew roots so I decided to, uh, so I decided to pot them up not a mealybug in sight. So happy about that, love that. So I'm never giving this back to her. I don't care what she says. It, it was worth my time because she really didn't do much, but yeah. <laughs> Question number four is, what plant do you have that you got a really good deal on because it was mislabeled? I don't really have a plant like that. Um, I've never 
been lucky enough, I guess. But I'm going to mention my alocasias. I have a bunch of alocasias that I got very cheap last summer. A lot of places in my city were like selling them between like $12 and $25, which in my opinion is a really cheap price and to me a steal, if you may. Um, but um, other than that, this is like my alocasia pink dragon. I'm not really a huge fan of alocasia, but um, I got a good deal on them. So I'm like, yes, baby, I will get it. That is a brand, brand new beautiful leaf. But yeah, um, that's all I have to say about this question. And the last question is what common plant that you have that nobody seems to have? This is my mandarin orange spider plant. It doesn't look the happiest right now because it needs a new pot and I was neglecting it for a little bit, but this is a spider plant. I see it everywhere in all of the greenhouses, big box stores, and nurseries. It's always readily available from where I'm from, but I never see anyone talk about it or have it. Which truly is a shame because it's gorgeous. It has like beautiful orange, obviously, as you can see. And it is a spider plant. Like it's just a very unique, different plant and no one has it. Am I the only one in the world that has this plant? If you have this plant, let me know down in the comment section below. All right, guys, I have no more time to film this video because I have no more space on my phone. So I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you in the next video. XOXO, and then.